What's good, George? Your boy Black over here, Black Money Court. It's a little different. We're going to do a little story time. But before we begin into it, don't forget to like, share, and support the Black Money Court. This story is about a, a judge, a lawyer, and a bail bondsman. The judge is Luther Edmonds. He was um, a prominent black judge in the city of North of Virginia. The lawyer is um, William Robinson, known as Billy Robinson. He was uh, one of the top lawyers. If you got a serious case like a murder, he was known to get your case and put it off for a couple of years or until the witnesses couldn't be found or found a loophole. He, he was just uh, known for getting people out of a lot of stuff like murders to be exact. Uh, William P. Robinson, Billy Robinson, he was like one of the top lawyers. And uh, he also was institutional in getting Luther Edmonds, his job as a judge in the uh, North of Virginia area. Now, the bail bondsman, her name was Sherry Battle, and she was supposed to have been Luther Edmonds' girlfriend, and it was some about he was um, trying to take away um, or trying to help her with this case that she had against uh, another bail bondsman where she had tased the bail bondsman, and at first he recused himself from the case, and then he pulled some strings and maybe she got off. It was um, said that it was his girlfriend, which it might be some truth to that because now as you um, search her, she comes up as Sherry Battle Edmonds. I don't know if uh, Luther Edmonds is still living, but um, him and um, Billy Robinson, William Robinson, um, they was close friends that was in the same fraternity. They was in the Q Dogs. They was on, um, what is that? The, um, Omega sci-fi, they was cute dogs together. They like I said, they came in the game. They was both former lawyers. Robinson helped him become a judge. Also, Robinson was a state delegate, and Luther Edmonds was trying to run against him and also slander his name to take his seat. So Luther Edmonds was playing dirty. Now, with the sheriff balance uh a battle situation come in with the bail pump, like I said. He was um said he was dating her. He was giving her favors, and him and um Robinson was having a bunch of political mud slinging for the uh, House of Delegates seat, which Robinson eventually overcame and kept his seat. Edmonds seemingly was um jealous and bitter about that. Also, it was reported that Robinson made a pass or something like that at um the Bell's bondsman um Sherry Battle, and what happened next is crazy. The judge, Luther Edmonds, while he is on the bench with the black robe, while he's employed in the uh, judicial system in North Virginia, goes and puts on a black mask and catches William P. Robinson, Billy Robinson, lawyer, prominent lawyer and state delegate coming out of like a doctor's office or some on um, a main street in North Virginia, Robinson Avenue. Matter of fact, in a building that's a high traffic building called the Hague. I think he was coming from his doctor's office or therapist. Well, the judge caught William P. Robinson. The judge had a mask on, caught him and pistol with him, pistol whipped him with a 38. Went across Robinson's head. He sustained damages to his head and his hand because he tried to fight back in the blocking. Now, the judge left the pistol on the scene. They apprehended the judge because they found this DNA and blood on the gun. Um, it matched the crime scene, and I think he his name. I think the gun was even in his name, but um, nevertheless, the judge received like he was on work release at one time for like he probably got like a year work. But you know, he was a judge, so he did get a certain amount of respect. But he was on work release, and guess what? He was working at. Well. The bail bondsman, the female lady, Sherry Battle, she had a children's clothing store in the mall and in the adjacent civic center where she sold a bunch of children's clothes like tuxedos and um, little uh, dresses for girls to go to um, Kinsieri's and stuff like that. You know, it was a nice little establishment. But lo and behold, who used to be in there was a tall black man who wore glasses and had like a a Judge Mathis cool player look to him that nobody really caught on, but that was Judge Luther Edmonds. 
he was helping his alleged, I don't even know if he was married at the time that he was supposed to be associated with the um, bondsman sheriff out at the time, but he was helping his alleged girlfriend, his side piece or his piece um, run that children's clothing store for years. And they're not there no more because most of every year change in the mall now they been the mall no more. So, but like I said, if you Google her name, it might have been some truth that her and um Edmonds was dating because sure enough, her name, last name is Edmonds. And Robinson, he passed away now. Well, his name is synonymous with being the lawyer that you go to when you want the case put off. If you're trying to beat the case or get a good plea deal, Robinson, I use them myself for a case. So I know I'm not speaking on what they say. I know from experience and him and his team, I think he had the only one I could think of that was associated with him was um Zelensky, an older white dude. But he had a team of um, lawyers with him that was doing their thing. But Luther Edmonds and William Robinson will ever be synonymous and tied to each other over the supposedly alleged triangle that involved the bondsman sherry battle who is now like i said sherry battle Edmonds, and it, it was it was a crazy time this was in the 90s and um it was a lot of political backbiting and um it was the age of the uh, republican too because i think george allen had just came in and um abolished parole yeah, yeah i think they went to um 85 percent back then and the budget had got wasted on what was going on and there's a storm like where it came in he was in the green when he left it was way past the red this is 95 it, like i said it was coming off the crack era off the reagan era from the um late 80s and it was right before um bill clinton got a hold of the reins but it was a crazy time and this judge and this lawyer i don't know what the judge was thinking that he was willing to put his you know what I'm saying? His bench position on the line for love or whatever crazy reason that he thought um, Robinson, the lawyer, disrespected him. Smash that like y'all. What y'all think about that? Do you think the judge was in the right? Do you think he did what he had to do? Do you think he was an imbecile for throwing away everything that he probably worked so hard? Do you think Robinson was a victim? Do you and Robinson made a crack on the um bail bondsman, and also a little caveat that I failed to mention: the bail bondsman Sherry Battle also was a former model and was known for her flashy clothes and beauty. So that might have played a certain part in what happened between the judge, the lawyer, and the bail bondsman. Smash that like, share me out. I hope y'all enjoyed this story time. Leave some comments below uh, what kind of stories you want to hear from Black. Maybe I got one. Maybe I know something about one or experienced something to that nature. So hit me up. Don't forget to like, share, and support the Black Money Corps. Peace, y'all.